Good morning from Padang. Bye, guys. I am in Bali. Now, this is a place I said I was never going to come and look at me. This is why you should never say never. So I'm going to be exploring this island for the next three to four weeks-ish, but today we're actually in Padang Bai because we're heading to Lobok. When I say we, I mean I am here with Alan. You might remember him from my Padang videos. He's going to help me here in Bali. He worked here for a year, uh, maybe seven years ago. So some things will be the same, some things will be different, but we are in search of the local side. Today I'm at Kayuna Homestay and I love it here. So I met Anne, the owner, and she has been fantastic because one of the things they talk about here when you're going to Lombok or Gili Islands is that the fast boat, the speed boat, it's a horrible experience. But as soon as I came here, she said, you know what, you don't need to go on the expensive, most popular one. I actually recommend a different one. It's cheaper. It's just as big. You'll have a great time. So we're going to take a risk and go with her. But first, she's made us a Balinese breakfast. So this homestay breakfast is included and they do kind of all of the typical backpackery, touristy, boule things like banana pancakes. But last night when we arrived, she said, we also do Balinese. So this is going to be my first taste of Balinese food. So for this Balinese breakfast, of course I've got rice because rice is life. We've got some tempeh, tofu, we've got some fried chicken, fried chicken intestines, fried shallot, tomato, green beans. I am so happy to have those vegetables for breakfast. This looks so good. That was an amazing breakfast. Now we are ready to go. I didn't know this, but Em will actually drive you to the ferry terminal, which is fantastic. Um, we bought tickets from her and it's 450 return, which is actually less than I think one way with Eka Jaya. And it's an open ticket. So I'm not really sure when I want to come back from Lombok. So we can stay as long as we want. And then just the day before we just send her a note to let her know that we actually want to activate that ticket. So. You know, so far everything is just starting on a perfect note. I'm really surprised at how easy Bali has been so far. Lots of people selling new things, sunglasses, sarongs. This is interesting. It says, please respect local taxi, no online taxi. So no Grab, no Gojek, etc. Please use the local taxi service. You're already building your village. Fair enough. This is a 90 minute ferry and that's because the first two stops are two different Gili Islands and then we get the Bang Sol which is on the Lombok Island. From there we actually need to take a car but it should only be 15 minutes and actually N said to us it should be 100,000, 150, no more than that. So she's been so good at helping us just understand what the fair prices are. Oh, the other thing is we got on a little bit late so we're sitting in the back, not at the very end. I prefer to sit in the front because it's less bumpy so I'm really hoping that this is okay. Apparently this boat is the old Ekajaya boat. When they got a new one they just rewrapped it. So 25 people can go up top and people are freaking out trying to get up top. I guess everyone chose the back seats knowing that it would be the first 25 up. We are just gonna sit down below. That is not worth it. Say that 90% of people on the 
boat got off. It was pretty rough the last half hour. I actually had to go to the top to get some air. A lot of people were not feeling great. They were handing out bags. I don't think it's a reflection of this boat, simply that it just got really rough out in the open water. And then as we started to come into Gilliere, it got much better. So I believe our next stop is in 30 minutes. And then our final stop, Lombok, is in 10. So now that we've stopped, I actually feel much better. And certainly going up top, getting some air. Really All right, we made it. So I was actually really surprised. After we hit the first Gilly Island, it was very quick to get to the next two. And then all of a sudden, Alan told me, oh, it's time for us to get off. I didn't realize we were already here. Um, he, I think, is negotiating with someone, a taxi or something like that, just because We've heard prices range from 100,000 to 200,000 and so I'm hoping he can get us something good. I'm hanging back so he can get a better price. I didn't even realize this but as we were leaving, N had said to Alan that she would send someone here, a local taxi driver, to take us to our next hostel and that'll be 150. And actually when we got here and he started talking to the others, they also said it was 150. So that seems to be like that is kind of the going price. Maybe you could get it for like 100 if you walked into town, but it's $5 and I think we're going, I don't know how far, but it seems like it's a pretty good price. So we are going to wait. I guess somebody will have a sign. It's so bright. We need to get some sunglasses. All right, so from Lombok, actually, here we go. And N told us this, that actually, if we wanted to just go to some of the smaller islands, do a day trip, that it's actually really easy to do. You can do a speedboat if you want to. And then also they have these public boats, which she talked about, which you really save, I think. Public boat, yeah. It looks like you can go in these capacitas, which are probably smaller, and 18,000 to 23. I have no idea what we're doing here. I think we have to check in or something. Our driver just told us, oh, maybe we pay directly here. Well, this is taking a little while. Any did negotiate a taxi for us from 150 and then when we got here they said it was 200 thankfully um, Alan is talking to her and also talking to them about how it was agreed to at 150 and also there's a guy outside who said he would do it for 150 so I'm all about paying a fair price I'm happy to pay I don't need to negotiate really low but it needs to be fair and it seems that 150 is the fair price not 200. All right, so we finally made it into the car. Annie handled everything for us and cleared up a misunderstanding that it should be 150, so that was great. The interesting thing about it is, you know, as I said, I don't mind paying a fair price, but also for Alan, he's local. And so, you know, he also wants to pay to pay a fair price but also not be cheated at the last minute so that was a very interesting interaction but we're in a car we're heading there it's raining so I don't know what we'll do my plans were to go to the beach because I'm kind of getting over that car or boat sickness but um, we'll see half an hour ride a lot could change in half an hour So I heard this place was a little bit challenging to find. I guess it's Dan Alley. Hello. Finally, we are here. Well, actually, we're not quite here. We're going down an alley. Um, our driver told us that you kind of have to go down the, an alley and we're in a very residential area in Lombok. And so on this trip here and in Bali, I really want to stay in local homestays. And that's because as we try to help tourism rebound. I think, you know, staying in villas and resorts is great, but it's all of these small places, all of these family-owned homestays that really need the help after so many years struggling with tourism. So this spot, I think, is going to be pretty cool. All 
All right, we made it. We're at Sengiki Beach. So things changed quite a bit. When we got into the taxi, it was raining and I thought the day was over. And by the time we came through here, we drove through all of that lush, rural area, palm trees, beaches. I became so excited to be here in Lombok. Even when you look at the villas and the resorts, they aren't really built up. They're still actually quite modest. And I think this place is going to be one of my favorites in Indonesia. But I'm gonna end this video here. I don't have any end plans. And so if it's really beautiful and I'm loving it, then why not stay longer? Until the next video, tomorrow we are renting a bike and we're gonna check out the island and I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. See you then. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.